Waziri wa Usalama Profesa Kiture Kindiki ameahidi kufuatilia kwa karibu shughuli katika idara ya uhamiaji Jumba la Nyayo hadi kanuni zilizowekwa zitakapotekelezwa kuimarisha utoaji huduma. Kindiki ameyaonya makundi ya wafisadi ambayo yamekuwa maeneo hayo kwa muda sasa watapeli wa Kenya. Aidha ameahidi kufungua huduma za uhamiaji katika kaunti za Garissa embu na kisumu miongoni mwa kaunti zingine. Hii ilikuwa siku yake ya pili ya kufanya ziara ya ghafla katika afisi hizo. Mwanahabari wetu Ode Francis anarejea tena na taarifa zaidi. Kwa miaka kadhaa idara ya uhamiaji kitengo cha kutoa pasipoti kimekuwa kikiandamwa na tuhuma za ufisadi wa hali ya juu na sasa huenda hali ya kawaida na huduma zikaanza kulaeneka. Siku ya pili ya ziara yake ya ghafla waziri wa usalama Kithure Kindiki katika jumba la Nyayo ilianza saa mbili asubuhi. Kithure amedhibitisha kuwa utoaji wa pasipoti 1700 unafanywa mchana huku 1700 majira ya usiku. Our production of passports is still below the demand. We will bring normalcy by first addressing the entire backlog and once the backlog is uh, completely removed we will stick to the directive that i gave in february which is every applicant of a passport must receive it within seven working days and if it is an emergency they must receive their document their passport within 24 hours kulingana na kindiki sasa visa vya dharura vitashughulikiwa bila kuingiza ufisadi kuna wale ambao ni wagonjwa ambao wanahitajika kwenda hospitali nje ya nchi ili kunusuru maisha yao. Hiyo ni kiwango hicho ni kiwango kimoja cha wale ambao ni tunachukua kama ni dharura. Cha pili kiwango kingine ni wale ambao ni wanafunzi wamepata nafasi za kwenda ugaibuni katika masomo ya ziada. Jambo la tatu kama mkenya ako na barua amepata kazi itakuwa ni hasara kwetu kama taifa kama kukosa cheti kutagarimu huyo mkenya kupoteza ile nafasi kindiki ameahidi kuwapa kipaumbele akina mama wanaonyonyesha na wale mavu kando na kuwachukulia hatua za kisheria wafisadi wanaoshirikiana na wafanyikazi wa uhamiaji kwa tapeli wananchi wanaotafuta huduma zao Our production of passports is still below the demand. We will bring normalcy by first addressing the entire backlog and once the backlog is uh, completely removed we will stick to the directive that I gave in February which is every applicant of a passport must receive it within 7 working days. And if it is an emergency they must receive their document their passport within 24 hours. Kwa sasa Kenya inategemea mitambo miwili tu ya kuchapisha pasipoti nchini. Hivyo mikakati ya kuongeza huduma pamoja na ununuzi wa mitambo mingine inaendelea. Kindiki ameahidi kupanua huduma za uhamiaji hadi katika kaunti za Garissa, Kisumu pamoja na Embu. Kuna wale bado wanafikiria ah hii ni sarakasi tu ni mambo kidogo kidogo ya PR hii kitu itaisha tutarudi ile maisha tumezoea mimi nataka kuapa mbele yenu na mbele ya wakenya hakuna mtu atachukua hongo hapa tena it is over nobody will come and do that monkey business here again ode francis kt news nairobi ukiyatafakari hayo idara ya trafiki nairobi itafunga kwa